In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can simplify algebraic expressions, specifically with substituting a variable. The quick summary of what we're going to do is we are going to replace the variable with what it represents. In other words, the letter x represents some number. If we know what that number is, let's put that number in and see what we get. Just need to remember, whenever we make a substitution or a replacement, that's what a substitution is, a replacement. It must be put in parentheses. always in parentheses. So in this first example, we're asked to evaluate 4x squared minus 3x plus 2 when x equals negative 3. We know x is equal to negative 3. x represents the number negative 3. So wherever we see an x in the, in the expression, we're going to replace those x's in parentheses with a negative 3. So we have 4x, which is now negative 3 squared, minus 3x, which is now replaced with, in parentheses, negative 3 plus 2. When we do this, what we end up with is an order of operations problem. We know order of operations says parentheses, exponents, multiply and divide, add and subtract, PEMDAS. There's nothing really to do with parentheses because inside the parentheses, that's all we're talking about, is already simplified as a negative 3, nothing to do with that. So we'll move on to exponents, and we see the negative 3 is squared. So we now have 4 times negative 3 squared is 9, minus 3 times negative 3 plus 2. Now we're ready to multiply and divide from left to right, and as we do, there's no overlap between the multiplication. So 4 times 9 is 36, negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9 plus 2. Finally, we can add and subtract from left to right. Negative 36 plus, or sorry, positive 36 plus 9 is 45 plus 2 is 47. We have now evaluated the expression when x is equal to negative 3. Let's try another example, an example that's got several variables in it. We want to find 4b times 2x plus 3y when b is negative 2, x is 5, y is negative 7. Well, we can simply replace the b with the negative 2 it represents. We can replace the x with the 5 it represents. And we can replace the y with the negative 7 it represents. When we do all that, we get 4b, which is now negative 2, times 2x, which is now 5, plus 3y, which is now negative 7, and closing the parentheses. Notice we have the exact same expression, we've just replaced each variable with the number it represents. So now, simplifying the expression inside parentheses first, the multiplication that doesn't overlap, we've got 4 times negative 2 times 2 times 5, oops, which is 10, oops, should be blue, plus 3 times negative 7, which is negative 21. Continuing inside the parentheses, the 10 plus negative 21, we have 4 times negative 2 times negative 11. And now, finally, we can multiply from left to right. 4 times negative 2 is negative 8, times negative 11 is positive 88 for our final solution. To evaluate and simplify an algebraic expression, when we know the value of the variable, we simply replace the variable 
with the number it represents.